guess hook up with a zombie. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what I do. So, Love and Zombies, slightly unusual theme. Um, tell us a bit about the film, just to start off with. Me? Uh, the, the film is about uh, a, a zombie called R, who I play. He, um, he can't remember anything about his, his human living life, uh, but knows that he's, he wants to feel alive again and, and, and connect with someone. And then he meets uh, Julie, Teresa's character, and she, uh, she inspires him to, rather than eat brains, to protect her and look after her and try and become better for her. And then we fall in love. <laughs> what, what kind of attracted you to the project in the first place? Um, for me, it was a combination of how strong the script was, and I also love that this concept had never really been attempted before. I hadn't ever read a story from the zombies' perspective. And then I was a huge fan of Jonathan Levine's. I think he's such a talented director. He's got an incredible aesthetic. And his other two movies um, that I had seen before I read the script were fantastic. And so then I really fought for the role. Yeah. yeah. Must have been pretty inspiring to... To work with me. Yeah, I didn't actually know you're attached at the time, yeah. but yeah, but uh, then that's another draw card, I guess. And your zombie look was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, how did you find it? Do you like it or? Uh, yeah, I did. Li I did like it. Um, he was into it. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's nice being able to kind of uh, change physically for for roles. It makes it a lot easier. So um, a lot of makeup and and you know bedraggled clothes. Nice. I enjoyed it. Nice. Do you have any zombie envy? Because you didn't actually get to be one. Yeah, I only get to be a zombie for like two seconds of this movie and I just go all out I mean I really take it to another level and um, I was a little jealous I have to say that the, the girls usually wear in hair and makeup for much longer than the guys for the most part so I wasn't jealous of that part he was up at least two hours earlier than me every day so that's good and how was the brain eating what did the brains taste like did you actually get to eat them uh, yeah no I did I did eat them uh, and it was actually really good it was um it was like a peach wet cold sponge thing but the the whole the whole idea behind it when Jonathan was like describing those scenes he was like this is like a, a serious drug addiction to this these brains like you need them so that's what that was what was running through my head I was like I need these brains <laughs> mm, <laughs> yummy yummy uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice, so nice. okay so what was it Valentine's Day coming up and the whole <coughs> thing being about love um, we were hoping for some kind of zombie ap apocalypse style dating tips. So we've got a few scenarios for you. Mm. Sure. Okay, so first up, you're on a date with someone yep. and the zombies arrive. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? What's your escape strategy? I throw my date in front of the zombies and just head out of there so as quick as possible. So you sacrifice mm -hmm. the date? Straight up. Just do it by yourself. <laughs> I like it. That's horrendous. Did you do no, the um, armor thing or...? Who did the same thing? <laughs> do, yeah. exactly, do exactly the same thing. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So, okay, secondly, massive disaster. Um, some idiot zombie has come along and eaten your other half. Yeah. What do you do to get over them? Oh, I guess hook up with a zombie. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what I do. I do it in this movie. Yeah. It does work out well. Yeah, it's either that or, or spend, spend the rest of your life trying to get revenge. So you might go for the re revenge option. Yeah, why not? Hunt them down, maybe. Yeah, callous. Okay, nice. So, any tips for those who are interested in dating a zombie, maybe? What they should be looking out for? Um, good taste in music. Zombie has to definitely be into some Bob Dylan, some M83. Um, Stock up on oral hygiene. Yes. Equipment. That's a good idea. Deodorants, a big one. Um, make sure they're hot, like chiseled. Cheekbones. I know they're like sort of dead, so they they probably do smell pretty bad and they look pretty bad. But you can spot the hotter zombies. He he was a hotter zombie, so I pointed him out mm. in the movie. 